Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen to YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and today we're going to be MIG welding some aluminum with a spool gun and uh, we're going to be doing this in the shop of Peter Zila of Zila Industrial Repairs here in uh, Wisconsin and we have Jeff Nolan of HTP here to talk about the equipment we're going to be using. How are you guys doing today? Uh, what we've got here is our RSG500 that we specifically modified for Peter. Uh, one of the things that uh, he wanted was the ability to remotely adjust the voltage from the spool gun. So we put in this potentiometer and wired it into our control box and he can now doesn't have to run all the way back to his machine to adjust the voltage of the welder and with this control box we can pretty much put this spool gun on pretty much any power source uh, CP200s we're going to run it on his Trailblazer 302D today. Trailblazer, we have a special version with a contactor in it for uh, the Miller Bobcats. We can put them on Lincolns. Just about any power source out there we can put this on. Another thing is Peter wanted a 50-foot cable, which is what the RSG500 has. We sell the spool gun with either a 50-foot or a 25-foot cable. He wanted the 50-foot cable because he's working on 40-foot semis. He wants to be able to go back and forth to make those repairs without having to move his service vehicle. Yeah, because moving the service vehicle in a tight parking lot, this is often more headache, disconnecting all the cables. So I wanted the 50 foot spool gun, plus if I have to park the vehicle further away, I have additional custom extensions for the 14 pin miller connection and for the leads coming to, this, to the box. So I, can, I have a total reach of 175 feet right now from the welding machine to the tip of the welding gun. Not bad at all. All right, well, what's next, folks? Should we go fire up the welder and take I it I think from we here? should go back, show the connections we need to make on the trailblazer, fire that thing up, and start welding. Excellent, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, this is the Miller Trailblazer 302 diesel, Kubota diesel powered 300 amp machine. And in order to run a spool gun on this thing, you'll have to turn it to wire using remote control because we have the remote control set up where the, um, the box that Jeff just described there's a contactor in there that tells the machine to switch the outputs on so we're running with a cold wire using the contactor in the machine um, we're plugging the ground clamp into the work port the um, spool gun itself we plug into the wire into the we weld electrode positive and the um, voltage or amperage adjustment on the machine is disabled by plugging in the remote control cable. Excellent. So running back from here, or let's get this thing started. Hit the glow plugs a little bit. plugs into the 14 pin plug-in that could be plugged directly into the machine. Okay. The positive cable here gets connected to the extension of the positive cable. Okay. And the negative cable is already hooked up to our workbench. Not bad. <laughs> As shielding gas we're using straight argon at a flow rate of about 35 or 40 CFH. And um, Let's switch the wire spool and let's get started. All right, sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and switch the wire spool because there's only like like one layer left on it. Yeah. Okay. And we got this fine wire here from Rock Mount courtesy of Steve. We'll post his information in the comments. Uh -huh. Rockmount specializes in special repair alloys. Okay. Where they're not the cheapest guys out there, but if you have a job that requires um, a little bit more than your regular welding wire, a little bit more than you normally use, 
that's when they come into play. All right. This looks like a pretty heavy duty spool gun. It is, there. How many amps is this thing good for? This can take uh, 250 amps. Not bad. With All aluminum right. wire though, it's really hard to give it more than like 160, 170. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, we're all set up. Now, as far as like voltage and wire feed, we can refer to books where they tell you how to weld it. We've mm -hmm. covered this in a video or two before where with the wire size they give you uh, wire speeds and voltages and amperage ratings. Okay. So where we want to be roughly, we want to be at about 21 to 23 volts and we'll dial the wire speed to match on the gun. Okay. The wire speed adjustment on the gun is here on the bottom. Oh, that's pretty cool. The voltage we're adjusting right here. Okay. And now the only thing that we don't have is a digital readout here. We can go back to the machine and double check. When we fired the machine up, I saw it was reading 23 and a half volts. So okay. we kick it down just a little bit and we should be right there. And now we'll dial the wire speed to match to achieve a spray arc. All right. So Sounds good. Let's make sure that the gas flow rate is right. There you go. Okay. Okay. You should have a stainless steel wire brush. Clean the welt up. All right. There's a little bit of. Uh... There's a little bit of peppering in it. The material that we cut, we cut it with a saw, and you see there's like residue left on the cut surface. Ooh, yeah. So it's not really cleaned. I intentionally did not clean it because Rock Mount claims their stuff is repair stuff. It will work on like dirty, slightly dirty material, okay. where often enough when you do field repairs, you can only clean wire brush, acetone wash, so much of your work area. So it, it is forgiving for some contamination and the feedability of this wire is excellent. It's forgiving for dirt and the, um, the strength of it is excellent. And um, it's for those jobs where you, sometimes you just you you're in corners where you can't you can't get cleaning equipment and you're lucky to get a weld in it okay sure can you talk about maybe uh, you know the work angle push angle you're using think anything along those lines what kind of stick out you run I don't want to get into push angles or anything <laughs> <laughs> um, you're supposed to weld it at a neutral angle uh, the, the sharper the sharper like 45 degree to the piece and then 90 in travel direction okay um, the harder you push it, the cleaner your weld gets okay. with the way how the shielding gas works. Um, push, pull, soot, whatever, it's 
Uh, this, who was first, the chicken or the egg? I don't want to get into push or pull <laughs> angle, but either way. All right. Um, but that's how you do it. You run, those are about the angles. I, it's, I, I tend to use on a, a, a neutral angle, maybe a slight push angle. I don't okay. want to be too aggressive with a push angle because although the weld turns out cleaner, you compromise your shielding gas coverage. Oh, all right. Sure, I see. And then the first inch of the weld here, you see it's a little bit cold. We did not preheat the piece. And once the heat picked up, everything was smooth. Then it was good. All right. This is a typical spool gun weld where your first inch is kind of always cold unless you preheat the part. Yeah. And as your weld builds heat in the part, it, it smooths out. So okay. either you start like outside your weld area and like kind of run it in or you preheat or some less critical applications you just live with the first inch being a little bit cold. All right, sure. Well, that's good to know. similar since it's you know we're still in spray art but either way yeah, that was awesome now half of this this half is all heat his demonstration this is uh, well that's bad I want to see how this uh <laughs> which half is gonna be this half I think it was the same A little bit of that slit on there. Well, first little bit's a little cold, but the rest of it, man, I don't know, that was really fun. <laughs> fun you too but never used a spool gun before but I did really enjoy that so you know as always I guess that about wraps it up Pete anything you'd like to add nothing more to add good luck with a spool gun keep All your right. arc long keep it spray arc okay yeah and if anyone wants to watch the making of this video that'll be on Pete's channel I'll put link on my in the description. channel Jeff hey if you need one of those spool guns you can get it at our website www.usaweld.com or feel free to give us a call at 1-800 USA Weld and we're happy to talk about your specific application and get at you a, a spool gun that'll fit your exact machine. Excellent. All right. Well, that was awesome. Thanks for letting me try that out, providing equipment and a little bit of aluminum to play with. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It's been a blast to make. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Have a nice day, everybody. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.